for my first point. Yep. In most of my sermons, I'm going to start a sermon, and within the first maybe 10 minutes or so, I'm going to get to a, 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 what's up, man? To a soft peak. Y'all know what I hate? When the musician starts playing right here. Right here. Because you just now rush the rest of my sermon. Yeah. Yep. So what you got to do mm -hmm. is, is allow the preaching. Well, I love the way you did that. Where the crowd is up. Folks, you know how preachers can get all wrapped up. Mm -hmm. Turn five people up. And, and folks are going off and you sit right there. That's right. Because I've studied this preacher enough. Yes, well, sir. I have it. I'm sensitive enough mm -hmm. to the Spirit of God yeah. and to the floor at that moment that I ain't trying to do. Now, so here's what I do. And more accurately, let me do this. Right. There and you go. This is my first point. Yeah. On my first point, what I want the musician to do, I'm going to just pick a key. They say the preacher's key is E flat. I feel like that's the nice. Let's do that. Um, <laughs> uh, now this is me. I'm going to show you everything I do. This is uh, the new the new B3. So, you know, they have the presets down bottom where you can control right. the bass. Let me tell you this. just me. I hate to hear an organ sound like this. Basically. Too much. Now we can't hear mm -hmm. whatever you're going to do up here because it's bass too. So when I set it all like this, first thing I do is I turn the bass back. Yep. And if I have to, I'll adjust the bass here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that I can get a nice, even closer to and, and for me, I turn the overdrive either off or oh, just a little okay. bit. Right. I don't want it too crunchy to where you can't hear. Mm -hmm. So let's say, um, and again, my influence is Marcus Dawson. Yeah. If you want to learn Marcus Dawson, you got to listen to J Jay. Yes, sir. Marcus is the king of, mm. I don't care how much preaching and, and, and shouting is going on. If it's the first point, he's going to do crazy stuff. He's going to turn his percussion on. That's yep. what I learned to do. And mind you, speed is my trick. So I ain't trying to do all them chords where my hand is turned all up. I'm just going to play with the preacher. <laughs> That's and how you do I'm it. Doing is, I'm doing chord progressions. Uh, three, six, six. You know, five, one, up. Uh. Oh, I'm going to show you my trick behind that. <laughs> my, my trick for this is, uh, I, and Mike Robinson taught me this. First major one I ever learned from him was, let's say it's the key of F. I heard him do this, it blew my mind. He would literally do. Right. That's simple. Once I learned that as a kid, then I can expand it. Right. Got it? Then I can go where I want to. <laughs> That's it. Now let's add a bass to it. <laughs> wow. All I did is throw a simple bass. Right, to right. One yeah. simple chord. And, and the hard part is to be fingering. Now, you know, Brett, again, he's, he's, he's getting mad when I try to show him this stuff because he's classically trained. So he only knows how to do right fingering. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling all y'all now that this taping me, I'm not playing right fingering. It's fine. I'm playing church finger, right. which is any finger you can get. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, so, um, so I'll do stuff like that. And, and again, same. All I do is slow my rundown just slow enough so you can hear every note. Right? Mm -hmm. So, right clean. Yes, so, all I'm doing is this. And, which is, scale. But, right. So, but what I do is I throw in a little bit of major turn. Teacher, sir. Mm -hmm. My 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 trick for running up, my runs going up don't make as much sense as my runs going down. Mm -hmm. So my runs going up a little about speed. Most of the time, I'm using these three fingers. Yep. I will start off on the thumb, and then it's, I'm just and all I'm really doing now is playing an A flat major scale. So. Uh, 
you put it on the F in the key of F. <laughs> and all I did was You're teaching us, sir. You're teaching. <laughs> Stealing. A is a minor F. Now yeah. it, gives it, a, a, it gives it a. a that, you see what I'm saying? Okay. So now I have a churchy sound. Absolutely. Really play at a major scale. Right. Simple tricks. So, mm -hmm. this is my point one. I don't care what the preacher's doing. I'm not going no more, no more above that. I'm just. I'm in that vein. The speed is my trick. Oh, or, you know, and I'll mock what the preacher serves. The preacher says, you know, tell somebody I'm going to do that. Yeah. Just listen to what he's doing. That's now, it. Subtle stuff like that means uh -huh. a lot to the listeners. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it's funny. I just had the privilege of playing for him to preach. What, yeah. like a month ago? Uh -huh. It's about 60 people. This is exactly what I did. Yeah. I sat there. Yep. There's, there's no need to play over oh, a preacher. Preacher hate that. It's yeah. annoying. Matter of fact, person, I don't know how most of y'all do, but most preachers, if they really got ears, I'd rather have no music. Absolutely. Then have somebody. <laughs> oh, you're right. I, and, that's outstanding. And, and here's why. And uh, let me know when I'm over my time. The reason is because it, it, the, the, the simple composition of a sermon, and I'm not talking about all the parts, but right. the gist is going to be this. In the beginning, it's information. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to get into revelation. revelation. Teach him. We Teach don't him, need sir. you till we get into inspiration. inspiration. Ah. That's it. Say it one more time, Pastor. One more time. One more time. One more time. Repeat it. Information. Uh -huh. Revelation. Right. That's your body. That's your meat. Right. That's where you. And then inspiration. Okay. Okay. Here's the problem. If I start playing too soon, mm -hmm. I will cut off the listener's ability, the ability to hear the hear revelation. Him. Which means they'll shout, but they won't get the point. Yeah. I'm not needed till it's time to do inspiration. That's because it. Now not. you've gotten the point of the message, mm -hmm. so let's praise God. And I'm going to say this. Those who can master that get paid. Yep. All day. To always have a job because they caught. All right. So, so you know, point one, I'm dancing around. Um, here's the only thing I would say about you know point one. And again, it's just my style. Um, I I I like to look. I got at, you, Rick. And this goes back to old school. I like to look at an organ as a drum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I think of yeah. It was a, who said that in uh, in the movie? Was it uh, James Brown? Movie. James Brown. Yeah. See, everything is a drum, right? Yeah. Yep. I look at organ as a drum because we grew up in days where we didn't have the average church didn't have a full band. Mm -hmm. So the organs had to learn how to keep. So I don't joke about you know those is uh, if they shout, they, you, you kind of keep. It. All that is is playing the drums with the organ. <laughs> Okay. Now, so here's my point. With that being stated, I like to I like to be able to control. I also see if if the organ is a drum, mm -hmm. then not only is it a bass drum, it's cymbals too. Yeah. Which means, you know, and he can tell you, I don't like the drummer to come in until the the last point of the preacher. Yes. Because again, it's noise. Mm -hmm. So I cut the drum off, which means now the organ has to compensate. So let's say that we're doing a turn to mm -hmm. your neighbor moment. Anytime the preacher tells somebody turn to their neighbor. I'm mm -hmm. playing the drums on the organ. Yeah. So and, and so if the preacher says, you know, touch five people and tell them something, I'm doing this. I'm creating that confusing element. Yeah. That that allows. Uh, oh, I turned my phone. So I'm gonna do. This ain't number symbols. That that's the same effect as. Mm -hmm. shh, right. Word. Yeah. And this is my bass drum, or, or my tom. All I'm doing is creating, I don't want to say confusion because it makes it sound bad. I'm creating an atmosphere. Build up. Right. Yeah. Build up. So that, here's the truth. If I do this right, the preacher could say, touch 10 people, and there ain't but five people in the room. <laughs> but the tape won't know the difference. Because I covered it for what's lacking. If you ever been to church and somebody, you know, ever had a crowd that's just not active? Yes. You'll never know it. The, the band can make the crowd. Move. Yeah, that's true. And, 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 it, and, I, and I kind of do it. I'm right back. Mm -hmm. I'm right back here because I just dip. Yeah. Y'all see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right. Then we, now, I ain't really got to show you about the flowing part at, the, you know, because y'all going to do the, you know, all, you know, when he's ready. You know, all, you know, all that. You know, or whatever, you know. Y'all know all of that. When he's coming in his clothes, 
head up the A flat or whatever the preacher's going in. Yeah. What was that a hand? Yeah, it was a hand. Question. Yeah. Um, how can you uh, control yourself with a preacher that's in between keys? Oh, yeah, good question. Good question. Do you push him up, push him down? Good question. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, some people will go for that, that. They think they hear it, and then they push it to the key. Mm. Your job, my job as an organist is to follow the preacher. And if the preacher's schizophrenic, that's the preacher's fault. So if the preacher is here, then he's here, then he's here, then he's, I'm going to keep switching every time he switches. Every time. Or, you know, because if not, I run the risk of, see, people are not going to say the preacher off. The organ is off. Right. The organ is off. Yep. Right. So I'm going to go wherever he's going. Wherever he's going. And if it's a musical chair, so be it. Um, <laughs> If you, and, and again, I'm telling y'all do stuff, you might not Man. have time to do it all, I might not want to do it. Every week, I go back, cause, and Marcus doesn't even really play the Potter's House anymore. There's so many guys at the Potter's House now, he doesn't even play. But I watch uh, the replay of Bishop Jakes' service, his Sunday morning service, every week. It's free, you go to their website, and you watch it. Jakes mm -hmm. is preaching, and the folks go to Bucket on the first point. Yep. And I watch him shut it down. I love it. I mean, he let him shout. And then he got, because he wasn't finished. And what I didn't see was the band going. That would have been out of order. This band is on his first out of four points. Yeah. <laughs> you see? So, so what I'm saying is the, the, the musician drives or follows behind the preacher. So again, let's, you know, we got our first point. And, oh, let me say this too. And, you know, y'all stop me and, and ask questions. That's, that's what I do. In this part here, where I'm building up, I'm in this first point, and then I start on this second point, or let's say the preacher doesn't have points. You can kind of feel where it's going. Yeah. I start off choppy, and by the end, I end up full. What I hate is, is, is an organist playing on top of me, because I'm still trying to give revelation, and, and the organist is holding it. They can't hear me. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is I punch it. And Jumbo is the king of this. I mean, he can he can punch. He knows how to punch it and swell it. <laughs> Go on, Jim. Y'all suck. Y'all suck. You know. Uh, I'm show you what. what I <laughs> All I did there is. <laughs> I'm an E flat. Or whatever my, my chords are. I just take the I just take the bottom note out. Like, like a two-bar harmony, and I do it with two hands. And what that does is gives me the flexible room. Why? Because speed is my niche. Right. So or if I'm, you know, <laughs> and, and again, is a lot of this is about the combinations, you know, that you put together. So let's say I'm back on that first part. <laughs> and by the time you come back, you kind of got the juice flowing. But again, I'm gonna be punching. Do y'all hear this? You know. <laughs> And every now and again, <laughs> you know, or something, you know. Uh, I almost would have had a preacher preaching it, you know, it'd be easy. Well, right? Well, now he's slow. He's preaching slow like a Baptist preacher. But, um, you know, but I'm doing that. Then it modulate. Now, yeah. What do you do? Mm. Uh oh. When you are great in E flat. And he goes and E now. In E. Teach us. And he modulates. <laughs> Woo. Keep it simple. You, there it is. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. You play what you can play. You got an A. What you don't do <laughs> is pull this out. That's uh, and hey, go to transpose. Don't do it. Don't do it. Always transpose. Right? <laughs> you just you know, then he goes. And so what I've learned is I got like four good chords in these. 
you know. Or if I know that E is, then in my case I can play E, but if E is a weak key, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a minor and I'm going to go, uh, now I just open myself up to G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? And then what I'm going to do is pray he modulates. <laughs> you know? Um, okay. Here's my other, here's the last piece I say. Uh, what are two things I want to say? Then I'll open up and I'll be done, I guess. I hope I, hope I ain't wasting y'all time. Oh, no, no. Oh, 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 no. You have 115 people up here agreeing. <laughs> um, so, so, to me, there are different kind of praise breaks. This is just me. This is Bible. Yes, it is. There's the service praise break, and then there's a sermon praise break. Your service praise break, you can do whatever you want to do. But when it's a sermon praise break, yeah. they tend to be the most spiritual, which means I need to be the most simplistic. Because my music can become a distraction to what the Holy Spirit is doing in that moment. Mm -hmm. And and y'all might say to y'all, I, yeah, I pull that mic and say, play it straight! And they get a, you know, yep. JJ get happy on slow songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, JJ. <laughs> you know, but, um, so, but if it's a, you know, let's say, we're in a, you know, A flat is, you know, and it's nothing wrong with actually playing. Thank you. You know, it's not, why? Because these are sounds that appeal to the church, to the traditional church member. Mm -hmm. So when I'm doing all my, it's not, and I, I'm not knocking the brakes, what I'm saying is be tasteful with it. Because yeah. the moment you shift and it's all symbols, you know, and you, somehow you just find a way to work into your shop. By the time you do that, <laughs> come on. What you don't know is what church member in that audience right. struggle with the club. Yeah. Right. Right. You start playing Beyonce, Rihanna, or you just start playing something you heard real nice on a shed tape. How that may pull someone out of that element. Yeah. So I like to keep my sermon shouts. We gonna praise the Lord. We can keep that something. So yeah, song. yeah, I see. And you can do break, but always go back to all right. And then here's the last thing I say: is when the shout is over. So, um, however, the spirit is flowing. You can tell. Normal good musicians too. They can tell if there's more mm -hmm. or if it's done. Mm -hmm. Once it's done, find whatever is the next flow of that preacher or that house. It yeah. could be going to strings. It could be, you know, but let's say I'm on the organ. I said, organ is all I've got. This is a thing I've learned from Marcus. Again, I, so Marcus Dawson, my brother, I owe you a lot of royalties for this lesson. Ricky said, use the transpose button. He just said that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I say, um, I'm in, in A flat. It's a simple thing I've learned from him. Um, it's, just a, it's just a minor, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a song, I don't know what, but it's just a minor fall. I'm telling you what it sounds like. It reminds me of Chris Thomas's. That's really what it reminds me of. But, uh, you know. I do this all the time. I play this all the time. And I'm right back in the element. Why? That makes for great talking music. Yeah. How many people here tonight have broken and you open the You know, I'm right there. And then it's a deal. How many of you, you know, never not again, it's a deal. I'm sorry. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just me. It's me. So my general rule is if I'm playing my 16th, my 8th, and my 4 are going to always be used. Now, some guys 
play just with the eight and the four, you know, like, and then that's cool too. If you can play down here, you know you can do that. That's a lower, which gives you more of that range. But if I'm playing a song, these are gonna always be my main three, and then that five and a third is coming out. And from there, then my preference is I like the one for brightness, but I like to balance it off with that two and two thirds, you know, you know, kind of give me that. That's the Khalil Parker sign. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> now that's the thing. Um, and then I, the last one I use, ironically, is the one and three fifths. I don't know why. It just has a, it has a, I, when you put it in the mix, it has a crunchy sound to it that works great if you're in it. Mm -hmm. But if you're not in it, that's that. Um, I have no problem playing, like, I don't play full on everything, you mm -hmm. know? And I'll literally just adjust the draw bars. It's good to learn how the draw bars sound. That's true. That's honestly, that's the, the, the main thing. But I'll just adjust them to taste, like salt and pepper. I, I play with it. You know, by now I, I know, but. So if you play it, you know, God is the joy and the strength of my life, then you won't be trying to do nice chords with this sound. You're making a face like you know you kill it. That's muddy, that's ugly. You just pull them back. And then I'll pull that 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 bass back. So So, mm. all right, any other questions? Because my time is, is about gone. No questions bad. Right, we're going back to the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing else. <laughs> Listen to the tape of your preacher and figure this out. Yeah. This will, this will help you, whatever, however that looks. Your preacher might be like this. This <laughs> means, and I'm going to tell you what this is. This is the Jamal Brown, uh, uh, the Jamal Brown style of preacher. Up, down. Up, be seated, please. Down. What's this? What's this? You, you'd be a fool to try to play all right. up, between that. All up in there. You just gotta wait till you finally hear him or a mm. preacher like that tune up at the end. But knowing your preacher is yeah. eighty percent of the battle, you know. And if you do that, you can't fail. All right. Any other thoughts? What, what do you have for beginners? And do you feel like beginners should start off with liturgical music? That's not bad, but some liturgical music can be complicated too. Yeah. Um, what, what I would say is the greatest lesson I learned that I teach people early on is chord progression, which is you know just the is again it's the skill from the gift. Yeah. Um, the chord progression is just based off the scale. So I'm in uh, you know C, C is once the C D E F G A B C. That's the, the octave scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what we get the, you know, the, you know, the guys talking in the mic says five, five. Everybody goes to the five, four. That's all it is. The reason is because the chord progression is the same in every key. If I'm playing "How Great Is Our God," "How Great Is Our God" is one. How great is our God? Seven to be six. How great is our God? All C four. How great five? How great one? Our God. If I go to E flat, it's the same thing. How great one? So the chord progression will help you in the early stages because it's transferable. If, if you just learn the chord, the chord without the theory of the progression will, will limit you to one key, which is how we end up transposing, because we only learn the fingering for that key. Yeah. So, so what I'm saying in essence is start with the bass note, not the, not the trumpet. You know. Great question. Any other thoughts? Yeah, I got one. Yes, sir. What, would you, uh, what advice could you give someone that grew up really contemporary? I grew up Ron Cannoli. Uh, when we got when we got special was Kirk, <laughs> <laughs> but I sweat when I walk in Koji churches, yeah. and it's not it's not because I don't want to learn that style. When I hear it, I'm I'm sitting, I'm listening. I look at June, and I see him doing his thing, 
So what would you, what kind of advice would you give someone that's trying to grow there? Or is that a, is that a, um, an impossible feat? You know what I'm saying? Like, did you want to answer that? Uh, yes. Um, I have, my favorite influences was Bishop Ronald E. Brown out of South Carolina. You pull up any album he got, and a lot of his stuff is on YouTube, you actually hear the Thanks. sound of the Pentecostal church. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not cold, but you, I think it was like five baptized types, yeah. uh, but real they're Pentecostal. True, yeah. But if you listen to any of that, um, and I tell anybody when it comes to the Kojic sound, go back to Madam Moss Clock and all the Twinkie on that stuff. I mean, yep. you're going to get annoyed because it sounds like the AM station, but you hear the response, you know, and not every Kojic church does the Kojic thing, right. you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. there's some Kojic churches that's a little more drier than some, you know, Baptist churches. And there's some more Baptist churches that got a little more fire than those that I named Pentecost. I was ministering at Union Baptist, and you would thought it was a full gospel of slash holiness church uh, because people just like good church. Uh, so I would say, just on, from my experience, um, Tweety Clark and uh, Bishop Ronald E. Brown was who I listened to because that 90s was the year of yes. real, like late 80s and yeah. 90s. Yeah. You real heard church, church yeah. on albums. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You didn't just hear what we got now to where people are making church choir albums or anything like that in the studio and we try to say, ooh, this works for church. You know what I'm saying? A lot of music that we listen to now is real commercial. So I would say pull back into the 90s, the yeah. 80s, you know, which might not be our, <laughs> uh, like our preference today, exactly. but I guess if you want to hear what was, you know, uh, or get the response of what was now, I would say turn back to that type of stuff. Yeah. And when you sit, the only thing I answer that is when you, let's say you're exactly. coming to a Hold seat, him turn around so you see. where you're naturally intimidated. He said, why is Tom sitting like that? Back to that authentic because voice. I'm being treated like a veteran. That's it. Go ahead. And I'm going to say, ain't trying to be funny. <laughs> Leave Dolph alone. Well, if you want to look at the Thank you, Jeff. I'm playing to the glory of God. Or yeah. you want to look at the occupational perspective, my critics ain't paying me. Right. That's right. So yeah. when I, I just sit realized down, I was sitting like a church mother, so forgive me. I've been to services where the organ, I went to go play for a preacher, and the organ who was on the organ was better than me and got up. But the reason he got up is because I'm there to play for the preacher. So That's right. I ain't mean as good as he That's is. Right. That's fine. I'm going to do my assignment. That's right. And I'm going home at night to my wife. Yeah, you know. So in other words, it all goes back to having life outside of the craft, then you won't Yo, be you had intimidated by two people. Why that's you? what I got, man. I'm, I, you know, I two ten like, now. Um, that's that's what I got for you. Man. Oh, this is this is great. Anybody wants to get in touch with me? See me after you turn off our Facebook Live, and I give you my cell phone. You know, I'm I'm an open book. You know. Yeah, that's I true. Got, you can have it. You know, there ain't no problem. And also, um, I had a conversation with him about three, four weeks ago when we got talking about it. He is looking for a keyboard player. Now, y'all heard his preferences. You've heard what he was good, y'all. So, don't 